Welcome to the show, Steve, and thank you for joining me today. Well, thank you for inviting me, Osama. So let's kick off this conversation with the $1 million question. Official inflation in Egypt is 21.27%. However, Hanke's annual inflation in Egypt is 101%. So how do you explain this massive gap between your calculation and the official one? Well, in countries that have elevated inflation rates, that's inflation rates above about 25%, the only way to accurately measure inflation in those dynamic high inflation situations is to use what's called purchasing power parity. And that's what I've developed and, and used uh, to measure these high inflations. And, and what happens, the, the chain of reasoning is fairly simple. You, you look at the change in the exchange rate and the, translate that into what is an implied inflation rate. And as you say, in Egypt, it's right now 101%. It's about five times higher than the official rate. And for my Egyptian friends that I speak with on a regular basis, they, they tell me that on the street, 101 is pretty close. And, uh, and I can I can say we, we've done a lot of scholarly work on this. And in these high inflation environments, purchasing power parity, as I use it, is very, very accurate. And how the government calculates its, its inflation rate? Well, the, the government has a, a they, they do it in a standard way, like most governments. They have a, a basket of, of goods uh, and services that they... They put in the basket and they, they go out and, and sample and get measurements of these price changes of all the items in the basket every month. And, and then they come up with a, a monthly inflation number. And that's where you get inflation at 21.27% in Egypt. The, problem, the, the problems are enormous because number one, they often don't have the right, they don't have everything in the basket. My, my basket has everything in it. Hmm. Everything being transacted in Egypt is in my basket. The official basket is a little tiny basket without very many items in it. So that's one problem. Then you have all kinds of problems in, in high inflations. What if you go out uh, the first day of the month to get the calculation, but the index, the basket, comes out at the end of the month. Well, in a month, a lot of inflation can occur. So you're always be kind of behind the curve, shall we say. And then uh, in a place like Egypt, where you have a lot of corruption, you, you know they manipulate the data. So the, da the data are basically manipulated. So, so those, are, those are the three problems. The, hmm. the basket isn't totally inclusive. And in high inflation situations, that can be very important. The second thing is that there are all kinds of sampling and data errors.